Let's make a costume for our dolls by using one of their outfits to make a pattern. First, I turn it inside out, place it onto a piece of paper, and trace around it. For this dress, I notice that the front is slightly larger than the back, so I am going to fold it in half, then trace, making sure to add a seam allowance where needed, then fold it in half so you can trace the other side. Then I sketched out a design for how I want my costume to look. I need to remove the sleeves, so I cut it out and redrew the pattern, adding a seam allowance to the sleeves. And I'm adding a little bit to the bottom of the sleeve so we can cut it ragged. Trace the back. I am going to cut it down the middle, erase the other side, add a seam allowance, and I have to remove the sleeves to make my pattern. Now I'm ready to place them on fabric. For the front of the dress, I'm using a pink cotton fabric, place the pattern on top, trace around it, then cut it out. Take the pattern for the back of the dress, cut two in a mirror image, then cut two sleeves, one in teal and the other in yellow. Now that the base of the dress has been cut, I take the pattern for the front of the dress and color the different patches. This is so I will know which patches I will need. So I cut them out, place it onto fabric, trace around it, cut it out, place it onto the front panel, use a needle and a matching thread to sew them together. And since this V-neck is a part of our hem, I made a small cut right at the center, then continued sewing. On the main part of the dress, I go over the edge to make sure that it lays flat. This dress is supposed to look ragged, so if it's not perfect, well then, perfect. Then tie and knot the end. One down, many more to go. I did all of the yellow patches first, then the teal, then black. This is a great way to use scraps of fabric. I use a pencil to draw a design, then use a needle and thread to embroider over the line drawn. I'm using a back stitch so it looks like one continuous line. I made lines and dots on the teal fabric, so parallel, then perpendicular lines, add black stitches, sew stripes onto the yellow sleeve to finish our embroidery. Place the back panels on top, lining it up at the shoulders, sew a straight line across the top of the shoulder at a fourth of an inch to connect them. Sew on the other side, flip the two panels up, take the sleeve, and with the good side facing down, find the center point, sew it on at the edge to attach the sleeve. Repeat for the other side, fold over and hem the collar. Now you can fold over and hem the sleeves or leave them ragged like in the movie. I went with a zigzag stitch to stop it from fraying. Fold over and match up the sides. Sew a straight line from the bottom of the sleeve to the bottom of the dress. Make a small cut under the arm to release the tension. Fold over and hem the bottom. Once again, I did a zigzag stitch. Take the back pieces, match them up. Sew an inch and a half up. Turn it right side out. Cut a piece of Velcro that is one fourth of an inch thick. Sew it onto the back of the dress so it can be closed to make a dress inspired by Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas that our dolls can use as a costume or for a little Disney bounding. Use stockings to make leggings from our doll leggings video. Use a needle and thread to make a few stitches, a pair of black shoes, and a fun purse from our DIY purse video, giving our doll the perfect look for the season. We use the pattern to make the dress in all black, put a piece of paperboard inside the dress, draw a design using chalk, paint it, allow it to dry, wipe away the chalk for another Nightmare Before Christmas inspired look. Thank you for joining us while we made some ghoulish fashion. We will make our patterns available at myfroggystuff.blogspot.com 
Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! Want to give a shout out to Elizabeth Ray. What's up? I need a costume. I wonder if Grandma has anything in the shed. Hmm. Let's see. I found some scraps of fabric, but what can I do with these? Froggy! What's up, Sophie? I need you to turn these into a totally awesome costume. Okay, just give me a few minutes and I'll be right back. Here you go. What's this supposed to be? A Sally costume. Who's Sally? She's like from a famous movie. No one's ever heard of someone named Sally. Lots of people have. Hey Sophie, have you seen Grandma? Nice Sally costume, by the way. Oh, thanks, Cousin Gabby. We totally have the same theme this year. Yeah, well, you know, it's a totally popular movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, see you around. Thanks, Froggy. Mm-hmm. By the way, um, how is that new room coming along? Oh, okay. You know, just take your time. <laughs> no pressure. Take was not yours.